What up, YouTube? This is Sneed from Sneed Mobile Tech with a quick update on some news that I had last week in a video, and it had to do with T-Mobile and some hardware that they were going to be dropping in quarter three of 2017. Now, some things may have changed, and we do have some details that have emerged on this information, so I just wanted to provide it with a new video so you guys can be up to date with it. So what we have is the phone is going to be referred to as the T-Mobile Revel T1, and it's supposed to be an affordable flagship. Here is the first pictured render of what the phone is going to look like. Pretty nice looking phone uh, from just the front render. It looks pretty good. Looks like it has a front facing camera with a flash. It's got a couple sensors up top flanking the top bezel. At the bottom bezel um, and the top bezel, it looks to be having front facing dual stereo uh, speakers, which is nice for those of you that have that feature on your phone. I'm sure you really enjoy it gives you kind of a fully immersive audio uh, visual uh, enjoyment to kind of like, you know, different music and, and different apps like YouTube when you're watching videos and movies. It makes it very uh, immersive and enjoyable. So that's good to see if it does indeed have the dual facing, dual facing front speakers. Uh, so that looks to be like uh, it's running Android. Uh, looks like probably 7.0, 7.1. Just depends, I think, when it releases what software it'll be running. So overall, the render shows a pretty promising design. Uh, some information that T-Mobile has released. It's going to be called the Revel T1. It's going to be one of three models that is going to be released. Uh, the T2 and the T3 will follow. And I think those will be a little bit more expensive and probably carry that price tag due to a specifications bump. So expect the T2 and the T3 to be more of like, you know, T2 being the kind of the high-end mid-range and then the T3 Pro being kind of the you know, competitive flagship type uh, phone with high-end specs. So that's just pure speculation, but I think we can expect that. Uh, some details about the T1. It's going to have a 5.5-inch display. It'll be full HD at 1080p. It'll have an IPS LCD panel technology, 3,000 milliamp hour battery, so it'll probably get you through a full day without having to charge it again. Uh, it'll have the 13-megapixel uh, rear camera, LED flash for the 5-megapixel selfie camera, wide-angle images, so it'll have to take good pictures. Uh, and, you know, our, our expectation is if this is going to be T-Mobile branded, it's probably going to have bloatware, a handful or more of some, you know, self-appointed apps from T-Mobile that will be pre-installed on there. I guess we'll just have to wait and see what that entails. The company that's making this, the ODM, is TCL. That is the same company that has been making the Blackberries recently. And also, uh, like the most recent one that the BlackBerry Key One, and then uh, DTEC line, which is the BlackBerry DTEC, uh, the DTEC 50, 60, and then the 70. They're actually pretty nice phones. They have good designs. This is also the company that makes the Alcatel phones. So, you know, they should be pretty well built, and they should be pretty sturdy and have some nice features and good designs. You know, I don't really want to speculate too much on price, but the T1 is probably going to be priced somewhere to be very competitive, maybe around the two to $300 range. The T2 could possibly be priced somewhere like, you know, the $300 to $400 range. And then the higher end phone, the, the T3 Pro, you could probably expect to be around the, you know, the $400 to $500 range. We'll see where they put the price points for each model as information comes out. You know, I'll keep you guys posted. This was reported last week that it was going to be dropped in quarter three. I'm also hearing reports that the T1 could be coming out May 17th. I'm not really sure. That's only a week away, so I'll keep you guys posted here on the channel. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already to get those updated videos. I do appreciate you guys taking the time to watch my videos. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for taking the time to watch them, and I do appreciate that. We'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.